right, guys, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. You just saw we loaded up some ammo and we're out on the range today and we're gonna do a little playing. We've got two goals to accomplish today. One, I wanna show this Caldwell Rock BR mount that I picked up off. And two, I wanna shoot some of these 223s. This is Sierra 69 grain hollow point boat tails. And uh, I don't think I've ever shot these on the channel. I loaded some up, it says December 29th of 2020. So uh, I was out of them, so I loaded some more up last night, and I thought we'd send a few down range today, see how this rest does. So this is the Savage Axis 223. It's got the SWFA Fix 16 uh, Super Sniper Scope. I really like the scope. It's one of my favorite scopes. That Fix 16 is just a, a really, a really good magnification range for this rifle. So uh, I'll show you this mount first before we get okay, started. Okay, so here's our Caldwell Rock BR rest. Um, someone alerted me and I don't know who it was or I, I seen the posting that this was on sale at Midway for $99. The sale is currently over and it is currently $200. So 50% uh, off on this. It's a very heavy duty rest. Comes with a pretty good size rear bag. It's got lots of adjustments as far as uh, it's got a course adjustment going up and down. Then you have your fine adjustment for up and down. You have a left and right adjustment. Uh, you have some little thumb screws here to put tension on your bag. You have thumb screws here to level it up and you also have a little bubble level on the rear. It's a pretty solid uh, rest. Um, I've shot the 6.5 Creedmoor off of it. I've shot the 22 Precision Rifle off of it. Last night I shot the uh, 300 Blackout off of it and I'm really starting to really like it, I'm getting used to it. I'm used to shooting off a bipod and I thought this might be a, something I want to try to uh, give us a little more solid rest. I did take a little bit of fill out of this bag. I was reading some of the reviews and that'll kind of let your rifle get settled in a little better. And it also has a forearm stop and I do not have it installed, but it keeps your uh, rifle, you know, consistently in the same place. The only thing that I've really noticed is some of these cheaper rifles like the Axis and the Ruger American, the forearm is very thin and uh, you usually got to run the uh, forearm up pretty far in it to get a good bite. So uh, some of your uh, more, uh, Newer Savages have a lot wider front end and uh, that'll probably uh, work a little bit better. So we're gonna get set up here. I got a target, paper target down there at 100 yards and uh, it's uh, it's warming up quick today. It's still about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's already like 85 degrees. We do have a little bit of shade from the deck here. So we'll send a few down range and see what we think about this uh, round and right, so about this rest. rifle kind of settled in the bag where I want it. You got it pushed kind of forward where it bites into the front bag a little bit. You got the rear bag sitting right or uh, leveled out where we need to be. Very easy adjustments. That just snugs the uh, down, loosen that up, and you can spin that wheel up and down. You can go left or right, whatever it needs. So we got paper target 100 yards. We'll shoot some groups. This barrel is going to heat up pretty fast today. So I don't know how many rounds we can shoot. We may have to quit and do a cool down, but just play around a little bit today. Be single feet and knees one at a time. Impact's pretty good. I saw in the little montage video beforehand this is a shooter's world match and that's a very fine ball powder and I did not have to trickle any loads I measured everyone out and everyone come to 24.4 exactly how the powder measure was set so it just flows amazing my uh, data card shows we're getting a uh, 2809 feet per second and that was done at 35 degrees so our velocity is probably a little bit higher today
seems like this, this rest, I don't pull it as bad. It seems like the rifle can only go back. So uh, I like that. No signs of any pressure on our primer. And I had a box of the uh, CCI Benchrest BR4s. So this is the first time using those. I thought this would be a good application for those. I've had those primers for quite a while. good five shot group we're gonna walk down range give our gun a little cool down time and uh see what we did okay we've run out here to the target of 100 i measured it on my ballistic x app and it was 0.722 there's our shots i know the fish shot was that one there so uh, that one opened it just maybe another little little bit but uh i was getting a pretty consistent half inch or under when i originally developed this load so uh we're, we're still right there shooting really good. So uh, I got my chamber chiller in the rifle, cooling down. We'll come back and shoot another five and see if we can improve on okay, it. Okay, so this time I'm going to put the camera on the spotting scope. Let this chamber chiller just run for a few more minutes. Just a little fan that you stick in the chamber and it blows air down your barrel to help cool it down. So in days like today, it's a, it's a necessity, I think. Especially this thinner profile barrel because the five shots heated up quite a bit. So... Give it another minute or two, then we'll send another five. Okay, we'll be shooting at the top right. Let's see what we can do. Pretty good group. That first shot was definitely me. I wasn't quite settled in my rear bag and uh, it went a little low. So uh, the other four grouped right in there. We'll, uh, we'll walk down there, take a look at it and wrap this video up. All right, we are at the target. I just got it measured out and it measured 0 0.950 for the four shot group. So we got a good three shot cluster there. The first shot went low and I just wasn't settled in my bag where I needed to be and uh, we'll take it. That's a pretty good shooting round. And uh, I originally was shooting the 68 grain Hornady round, had a really good load developed for it, and it got where I couldn't get those anymore. So I bought these 69 grain Sierras, and I've got three or four boxes of those. And this Shooter's World Match powder uh, works pretty well. So uh, like I said, it's already probably about 90 degrees a day. It's not the best conditions. I'm getting pretty hot and sweaty, but uh, it shoots pretty good. So uh, let's wrap this video up. All right, so I'll give you some final thoughts on this rest. Um, so far, I'm liking it. It has a little bit of a learning curve for me to use because I'm used to shooting off of the bipods, putting some preload on them and stuff, but uh, this is a very solid rest. It does not move at all. Once you get your uh, rifle kind of bit into it, um, it works very well. Uh, I may remove a little bit more fill from this front bag. Um, choking it up on this uh, forearm seemed to help it hold a little more steady. I have uh, other rear bags that I can use, but this one here seems pretty good. The height is uh, very, I guess it was included with this rest, so the height's about right for it. Um, the adjustments work very good, so uh, we shot some pretty good groups today. 
so uh, I think it's a keeper. So uh, like I said, if you see uh, see it on sale, uh, you might pick it up. You know, I, I can't see myself giving $200 for it, but the $100 deal, you know, 50% off, I thought it was worth a try. So I got it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to play with it, and I'll keep you guys informed. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we will catch you next time.